What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video and in today's video guys, me going over the OG Demon and how you guys are actually going to be able to clear it and build the best teams possible. So I want to make an updated guide on the OG Demon guys since we, uh, you know, uh, I've been actually grinding OG Demon lately and uh, I want to go over like each slot, you know, which characters are still viable on it and, you know, going over the fastest and best teams you got for uh, OG Demon as well. So we're going to be pretty much covering that all in this video. If you guys enjoy videos like this where I cover, you know, uh, guide uh, type uh, content or I, you know, uh, go over some other things in the game, definitely make sure to like, subscribe as per usual. And without the way, guys, let's hop in and let's go over um, the team comp part of the video and then I'll explain the mechanics of the actual boss so um here we go here we are guys this is the main team that i've been running lately on og demon now let's kind of talk about the reasoning why for each character on the team now um for the first character right here we have red gulter and the reason why red gulter is so good on og demon is because he's gonna have the rank up right here obviously rank up is gonna be one of these staple uh skills being used in in all demons across the game um, so you always want to have a rank up skill so that everyone can get those rank threes and start to deal a ton of damage. Now with my main DPS for the team, LR Lost Vein is the character I actually chose and he's really, really good. He's a character that can actually deal a lot of damage. He does have sever on his first skill now, so it's, uh, it actually does guaranteed crit, um, against the OG Demon on the second phase and even the third phase too. Um, so he does hit really hard. Um, the AOE skill is not as strong, but it's still a fairly decent skill as well. And then obviously the ultimate is just going to be a nuke. So um, very, very good DPS uh, character option for this, uh, you know, for this death match. And then you guys do have uh, Summer Deanne as well, which she is going to be the main rank up character for the uh, for the fight because of her passive right here, which increases skill ranks at the start of the allies turn if the allies and death match are all from different races. And as you guys can see right here, we have a demon, unknown and giant. So we get the rank up just by using all three of these characters together. Now, in terms of the uh, backline character right here, you, you guys can either run a lane um, this lane right here and the reason why is because of her passive right um, increases allies stat related buffs by half of their value in deathmatch so increase um, you know the attack the uh, attack related all that stuff it gets increased when you get the buffs um, or you can actually run Ragnarok bond in the back line he's going to be another option as well guys um, because he's going to be increasing allies attack related stats by 10% and decreasing the enemy's uh, pierce rate crit chance and crit damage by 15 so very very good backline option as well uh, but in terms of the other uh you know main options guys let, let's say you guys don't have these three characters right here um if you don't have those three characters but let's say you have like a kizuna um and you know and you don't have like summer Deanne, this is the team that i would recommend you build so you're gonna do kizuna you're gonna do uh let's see you're gonna do gulter right and then you're gonna do a dps character so let's say you know let's say you're a collab guy you know let's say you run rem right like rem's gonna be a pretty good option as well you have uh you know your keys now which is gonna be the reason why she's good is because you have the uh in pve increase own skill ranks and removes debuffs from allies and then with the uh the holy relic it actually gives you 30 percent attack related um which is obviously very good um so you could actually proc that in demons right um, and so she's able to do that and then obviously ram here is going to be really strong because she has amplify single target and she's going to be increasing her buffs um every time she moves uses or ranks up a skill she actually gets a uh, attack buff and then she is going to increase uh, her basic stats based on each uh, ally being the same race and we have another unknown ally right there so uh, you know ram's actually going to be doing pretty good right so um what are the other dps slots you guys can actually run though you have ultimate Askinor. he's going to be an option you can run as well um Let's actually scroll down here. You have Rudius. Um, if you are going to be running Rudius as well, you can actually swap Gulther out for Eris. You know, you're not going to get like a completely uh, crazy rank up or anything, but rank one and two skills with Rudius on that team is going to be a really, really strong uh, version of the team. Like this is another really good team as well, um, right? Um, so yeah, there's another one. And then, uh, yeah, and then let's put Gulther back on. Um, let's say you don't have, uh, you know... Or let's say you you have summer dn but you you don't want to run like a gulter comp you can actually do this right where you run summer dn at a double dps you could do like frayer right because he's going to be the, the unknown character and then you can run like a damage dealer you could do like trader meliotis right so this is like what you would do like most of the time like i usually i used to actually run this team as well um but for like generally helping people i i choose to actually run the red gulter um variation with summer dn uh so that i can actually rank up my my hand and then at least i can carry from that part on 
um, and it's going to be uh, pretty good. So a team like this, guys, will not actually work, though, bearing in mind because uh, Freya is actually unknown race, and we have two unknown race characters here, so you definitely want to make sure that when you are building an OG Demon team that you remember about Deanne's passive where it has to be different races for the rank up. Um, so you want to make sure you are changing the team uh, in, in terms of that um, matter right there. So yeah, the main DPS is, I would say, for OG Demon, guys, is going to be Trader Meliodas, Ultimate Escanor, LR Meliodas, uh, Rem. Um, you also do have uh, Freya here is a really good main DPS, actually, as well. And then that's pretty much going to be it. I know Freya is pretty good, too, the one I have uh, on, on my team as well. And then, obviously, Summer Deanne going to be another good option. But those are going to be the main DPS characters you're going to be running on the fight. Oh, and Rudeus, too. <laughs> Forgot Rudeus. Those are the main DPS characters you're going to be running on the fight because they deal a ton of damage, right? So, as, as my example, I'm going to put Lost Vein. And then, for this slot right here, you either run Summer Deanne or Kizuna. You can either run in this slot, guys. You're either going to be running Kizuna or Summer Deanne because uh, Kizuna is actually going to be giving you the 30% attack related, which pretty much you can act as either running uh, the Summer Deanne where you get the rank up or you can actually have Kizuna. And she also does have the buff card right here, which is going to be really good. And that's going to be the one that gives you removing debuffs from allies, increased basic stats, and grand debuff immunity. Very, very strong. So depending on who you have in your box, either Kizuna or Summer DN, um, you run that in that uh, slot. And then your uh, first slot here is either going to be Gother or another DPS character, right? So you could do like Gother, um, you could do like Summer DN, um, you could do like, you know, Freyr, you could do Ultimate Eskinor. Um, This is a slot that, that definitely is kind of like flexible, but you always want to have like at least one Gother on one of the teams. And then um, you could also sub in like a support type character, like, you know, like Elizabeth, where she actually gives you basic stats um for characters like uh, meliodas and stuff so you know do you have a few options in terms of what you're able to do um but yeah the main teams i'd say guys is you have a rank up gother you have a summer dn on one side right so we'll get the uh, summer dn where is she summer dn rank up gother and then your main dps with a lane backline and then your other person uh, on the team or the other person you're running it with is either gonna bring a kizuna or you're gonna bring triple dps so you'll do like um kizuna Right, you'll have like Kizuna, Summer Dian, and then you could have your DPS. Or you could do uh, Kizuna, no Summer Dian, and then double DPS, right? So you could do like Freyr, right? Or you could do uh, Kizuna, Red Gother, um, just like the other person, there, and you're both running Red Gother, and then you have your DPS, right? So something like that is going to be the main team comp, but pretty much, guys, you have your Gother slot or your Flex slot, you have your DPS slot, you have your Kizuna, Summer Dian slot, and then your backline is going to be uh, a lane. Now, if you don't have Kizuna or uh, Summer uh, Summer Dian, then you're going to have to run the OG team where you run the Queen Dian. Um, and you guys actually have to fish for a rank up. So this is going to be the original team and you'd run like Trader Melly, right? So you'd run like uh, a setup like this, right? So you're running like Red Gulther, Trader Melly, Queen Dian, and then Elaine backline. And what you're pretty much doing with this team is you're trying to fish for a rank two rank up so you could rank up the entire hand. And then the other person is going to bring the exact same team, but they're actually going to bring Red Arthur instead of Dian. And that's going to be the team if you do not have um you know the regular uh you know speed run rank up characters like kizuna and um uh, summer dn right so those are going to be the main two that i would recommend another thing i wanted to add guys in the video is that if you have the artifact card set for the og demon so if you do drop the og demon card you're actually going to be able to ignore defense um by up to 60 percent when fighting original demon and then what you can do is you can slot in the other high cc cards like right here um you guys can see these cards are really strong so you could do the og demon card set and then just slot in two you are cards that have a ton of stats so you can get some extra stats when fighting og demon so that's pretty much that guys in terms of the team comp let's actually hop in now to a an, a, an example of an og uh, demon fight and i'll kind of explain the mechanics so you guys know how to actually go about the fight all right guys so we have an original demon uh clip here pulled up so this is with a random person here so as you guys can see if we actually go back to their team um you can see they're pretty much doing what i said right you're running a gother rank up you're running summer dn and then a dps character and since they do not have a lane backline they actually are running ragnarok bond which is a fairly decent team you know that's a given and on my side here guys we're gonna be running red gelter um lr lost vein meliotis summer dn and then we have elaine in the backline as well so this is gonna be the team comp that we were running here we actually hop in and we can go into the first phase of og demon 
this is where uh on the first phase here guys he there's a few things that og demon can do he can actually buff up but that's only going to be on the third turn he can uh you know do a lot of damage he can block affect you as well so you want to make sure that everyone is going to have that debuff immunity if you're running dn your whole team auto ranks up as i mentioned before and you also get the arthur buffs or the kizuna buffs all automatically right for three turns you get the def uh, the debuff immunity the attack up the defense up the hp up okay so whenever og demon attacks into you he's not going to be able to do it now in terms of your first hand here when you're running a team like this you always want to hold on to your main damage card that you're going to be using on the second phase and the third phase so when you top deck an extra card like this for dn feel free to use it um feel free to use dn's like power strike card as well and that's what i like to do when i start with the gotha rank up so i do like gotha rank up we'll do like the power strike card with uh, dn and then whatever card i top deck that's a damaging card i'll use and if i don't top deck i'll just waste the aoe skill from l or lost vein or you know from trader melee or for whoever you're using right as your dps so right there we waste the uh, attack cards right there guys and we're actually you know doing a good amount of damage here he does have damage cap by the way as you guys can see you're not able to do more i think that it's like 284k i think is the maximum you can do so um you don't want to be uh you know not hitting the damage cap try and hit the damage cap so you can kill him as fast as possible and then right here is going to be phase two this is going to be a very important phase of the fight here guys so as you can see the og demon does have a gray buff right now and that gray buff makes it so that only ranged skills can actually proc in the game uh, on that boss so let's actually go to a character here and i'll show you guys how you find out if a character's skill is ranged or not if you click on the skill right here it's gonna say a um, melee skill or range skill and you can see that Golter's aoe right here is a range skill now another character that you're gonna be using when you're running this would be summer dn right and she's going to have a range skill as well so if you actually click on summer dn and we actually go to her main damaging card which is the amplify card you can see here that it actually is a range skill so in the video here when i'm actually about to attack the uh, og demon i go for the uh you know single target with dn and then i follow up with my main damage with melee and the only the only need to really do 10 percent of his hp by the way he can be less than 90 and he'll still uh lose the uh, the buff right there but you want to make sure you are using a card that is a range skill so make sure that you're using a range skill another thing as well on this phase guys for you guys that don't know is that if he gets less than 10 percent he will become immune to all damage except ultimate moves so if you want if you have an ultimate move by this uh, turn in the fight um definitely make sure to use it last so that if you do accidentally proc that you're gonna use the ultimate and it's gonna do a ton of damage so there you go right here you guys will see the the amount of damage the the team's able to do um ll last vein when really invested in is going to be a really really good character for this guys you'll see here um when i do my ll last vein rank three it's actually just going to guaranteed kill him and then now uh, we can finish it off from there but remember guys if you leave him less than uh 10 percent right there he survives he's going to get that invincible to all damage buff and you have to use an ultimate if you're if you're going to able to kill him from that range unless he life steals back up to the regular hp uh threshold um so yeah guys and then uh, moving into the third phase here guys um on the third phase he just does a ton of damage here it's not going to be anything too crazy but this is where you want to just deal as much damage here and finish them off whatever attack cards you have left on your dps use them your other uh you know person on the team should be able to do a ton of damage as well since you've been doing mostly all the damage here um but yeah you guys can see here that the damage we're dealing is just a ton of damage and the og demon's gonna you know eventually die there and that is the main strategy for taking out the og demon guys so that's pretty much it there guys for the guide on how to clear og demon and the best team comps for running it um so this is what i'd recommend guys go through your main dps your summer dn slash kizuna and then a lane in the back line so i hope this video was helpful guys thank you guys for watching the video and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day